Hello YouTube, Hunter family here once again, coming to you from Ella J, Georgia, up here at Talona Ridge RV Resort. It's located up here in Ella J, around all the uh, fancy apple barns That's and right. whatnots, and <laughs> we're gonna give you a little tour around the facility and uh, show you and kind of tell you what we think about it afterwards. And uh, just stick with us. We'll see you in a few. Roll that be roll. Inside the clubhouse area, I'll give you a quick. There's people in the pool, so I'll just kind of give you a little quick look of the pool area. It's a nice little pool. They're actually uh, building another one down at the bottom of the hill, which we will show you here in a minute. We're going to kind of take you on the inside and show you inside the facilities. Yeah, it's really nice. Early in the morning and in the evening, they turn on these um, fireplaces, so you can come and cozy up and. In the morning, drink your coffee or your mimosas by the fire, or in the afternoon, your late night drinks. Your, exactly. What do you call those? Night Cocktails. Caps. Yeah, there night you go. Caps. Night caps. <laughs> Fancy. This is so, the main reception or recreation hall, I guess you say. Yeah. There was an RV rally this weekend. Yes. And uh, it was kind of wild up here. It was kind of yeah. nice, but uh, yeah, but yeah, you can rent out this facility, or it's open for any camper use. You can come in here and chill, play games. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have a full bar that opens, I think it's 6 p.m. Um, I believe it's 6. Yeah, I think it's from 6 to 9, the bar's open. And you come up here, they have uh, beer and margaritas and, you know. Slushies. slushies. milk drink, or like, milk, milk drinks. Really mixed drinks. Yes. <laughs> Not milk drinks, mixed no. drinks. Wine slushies are delicious. Just so oh, know. slow down. I'm putting up the um, events calendar because if you do go online or when you get here, there's a QR code and um, they will give you like the calendar of events for the length of time that you're here. I mean, it's for the whole month, but yeah. you know, you can see. And also they will send you text updates. So whoever's yeah. registered, like I was registered, you get a text update every day of what's going on, whether it's food trucks or they're having LCR tournaments at night, whatever the yeah. case may be. Uh, you are notified. So here, um, see, like it'll show you the calendar. I'll just show you here on my I phone. Know. This is set. Oh. Hold on, me. There you go. Focus in on it. Is it focused? This will be September, which we're in today, Saturday the twenty-first. Motion detected at our driveway at home, but it'll tell you what's going on today here. So the food truck will be here from five to eight. The bar opens. Five o'clock closes at nine. There'll be will be a private dinner, like you said. There's been a um, a group here, so they've rented it out. And then there's usually a live band outside, um, and we'll show you that area also. But it'll be here from six to nine. It's really nice, and the live band and the fire pits are going, and um, you know, grab you a beverage and enjoy the view. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's we'll gorgeous. come back out tonight and show you the nighttime view. Yeah, but it's yeah, beautiful. Here's here's the little uh, recreation hall again, and um, we'll. Uh, take you outside and kind of show you the patio area. Okay, we're up here at what's called the Eagle's Nest. Uh, there's three different levels uh, of the campground. Uh, you have the Eagle's Nest, which is the very top. There's a middle section, which is called Falcon. And the lower level, I believe, is called the Hawk section. Uh, right now, this is where you get all the great views of the mountains. It's like 
panoramic 360 degrees of the North Georgia mountains. Um, and as I was telling you earlier, right here, this, uh, this is the new construction area. Uh, they're putting in a new recreation hall like the one I just showed you. There will be another one down there as well as another pool. And I think bocce balls going in. Uh, and the, it's going to be a whole new section. So that way the people on the Falcon level won't have to walk all the way up this mountain, which is not that bad. Um, I'll show you here. There's some steps that go down to the Falcon level. They are kind of steep, but, um, you know, you do what you do. So we're going to go now uh, and kind of show you around the area. We'll show you our campsite first. We are actually staying in the Eagle section this time. Uh, we usually come up here in the fall every year. Uh, we stayed actually down in the Hawk last year, which was a great experience. You're just on the lower side. You don't have the views. Um, and But pricing is a lot cheaper down there, which we'll kind of go over that with you here in a minute. Well, at the end of the video, we'll kind of give you a recap of all the pricing and uh, our thoughts and stuff on the matters and if it's worth it or not. So uh, just stick around. We're going to hop in the truck, do a little quick tour, and we'll see you in a second. All right, here we are. We're about to pull into the main entrance of Talona Ridge. Uh, excuse the diesel noise on the uh, on the ram, yeah. But here we go. There's the main check-in area. And you can see the reception hall at the very top of the hill. So I'm going to get badged in here, and we're going to start down on the Hulk level. All right, here we are. As he said, we are going to start on the Hulk level. You can see the little thing here, or little signs. Hulk level, dog park, the Grandview Halls up the hill. Uh, we're just going to start right down here on this level and show you all the sites. Um, all of these are very level. There are some trees. Um, they're not very mature yet, but uh, definitely will be soon. Straight ahead is H24. Right here on your right is going to be H10, H11. That's 16 and 17, right beside each other. Those are close. If you know your neighbor, that would be the ones. 18, 19, all the way through H, uh, looks like 23 is on this row. And down here at the end, there is another bathhouse with laundry facility. So these sites right here on this end of Hawk Valley is H40 and 41 and 42. And these here um, are great. These are buddy sites. And um, basically you face each other, which is really nice if you want to camp with um, a couple people like together. But um, you face each other. So you, you know, share morning sun, afternoon sun, you share the yard. It's pretty nice. We've done it before. We did it last year. We actually stayed here with uh, my in-laws. So it was a good time. Uh, next up here is H43. All the way through, let's see, 49. H49 will be the last one. So 45. And 46. Forty-seven, forty-eight, and forty-nine. On the next loop, the last loop over here at uh, Hawk Valley, H50 and H51 are also a buddy site, 
and it's right across from the dog park and also right across from a little pavilion um it's got picnic tables a gas grill i'll show you that real quick yeah here's the uh, little thing it's got a little fire pit over there uh gas grill some picnic tables so if you had a big group and you wanted to get together for a cookout uh it's awesome and there's also bathrooms and everything that's on this other side here i'll get back over here See, a little private bathroom for this area, and that's for all campers. Back on the other side of the road here, that's H52 campsite, 53 through 55. And this is the last row of the Hawk Valley, so this is the very end. Okay, this row here is H24 through h 29 is this row. They all come with a picnic table and um, a fire bowl, I guess. Um, you do have to, it is like a wood burner fire pit, um, and you do have to buy your wood here uh, at this campground. All right, we just did that row there. We're going on this next row here. This will be H30 uh, and 31, they're buddy sites, you can see. And this goes all the way through H34, uh, will be the last site on this road. And then we'll just show you that main, uh, the front row in, and that'll be all for Hawk Valley. Here is the first row, we're kind of going backwards in there but this site here is number nine and then we'll all we'll go back to this is one through nine basically on the first row on the left as you pull into the Hawk Valley area this one's nice you kind of back up to a little hill it's have pretty good sized little yards And they're very long. If you have a big rig, a small rig, they'll all fit. And there's number one. So we're gonna show you the next level up, which is, I think, Falcon Ridge. Yes. There's Falcon Ridge. These are gonna be sites F1 through F6. It's a one-way road here. These are nice, uh, kind of like pull-through sites. They have very little yard, but they do have like a deck with a sunshade also comes with um, the fire pit, which I believe is gas. Yes, Here, gas. these are gas fire pits. And like I said, you just sort of pull off. It's almost like a, I really don't know what you call this. <laughs> but this is it. And you have a deck just like right here. And you see that gas fire pit right there. And there are full, full hookups here, excuse me. <laughs> full hookups here so you just this might be a nice one just pull in for a few days and head back out but uh just traveling through yeah yeah for sure so this here's f5 and then f6 on the end down here it looks like they have a gas bowl or a fire bowl too oh yeah i see that mm -hmm. along with the gas barrel we're just going to continue on around on up the hill here uh, this starts here that's 19 f20 and this is just the back row this is where they're adding on a pool a restaurant another recreation center. Uh, recreation center yeah it's gonna be nice to have two of them here right straight ahead that's f23 down at the end of this row too they also have pickleball and another like um, bathroom bathhouse area back here are the pickleball corpse and here's another little pavilion that you can go to with the gas grill picnic tables bathrooms all that good stuff and we're starting on this row right here we're starting at f 34 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's 
37. That was 38, this is 39, and then that last one there is 40. This is the first row here, again on Falcon Ridge, starts at F7. up on the hill so Eagles Valley is down below this is the next level up here yeah. I'm sorry Hawk Valley <laughs> Eagles gonna be the next one up this is Falcon and that's 14 17 and 18. We're going to turn the corner here and go ahead and get this row. It starts at F28. 29, 30, through 33, it looks like. back around here on Falcon. Uh, there is a bathroom here. We just passed site 40. There are stairs and an ice machine here. The stairs will get you up to the uh, Eagle area and also where all the, the pool is and everything like that. These sites here are going to be 41 through 50. sites are really pretty similar. I don't think there's a bad site here. They're very level. Yeah, these over on the right are a little bit smaller. You can see you don't want to put your big rig right here, but they're all very level and you get the same, you know, amenity, full hookups and all that good stuff. We're going to go up the hill here to the top, to the tippity top. Right up top here. So when you come up here, right to the right, uh, this is where the Grand View Hall is with the pool. Um, and this area up here is um, just walking distance to Eagles Nest. <laughs> yes. And we're just gonna start here at the E1. Give me one, one second. Uh, right here, these little pads here is where the food trucks will come. They'll have food trucks, and this is where they'll park. Uh, but we're going to start here with E1. And these here are like for Class A's. These are not back ends, you know, just pull in and park. Um, but E2 through E10 do have a propane uh, fire pit along with the wood burning. And this is three. And then that's four. Beautiful views here. That's five. And then seven and eight. And then up here is another pavilion with the two gas grills, the sink, it's got a big fire pit and some chairs in the back, which are really nice. Also showers and your laundry is here. And this is a big old cul-de-sac uh, here. And this is E9. And 10, 11, 12, 13 through 19, I believe, in this cul de sac. 20. <laughs> and this is E18. That's Dado. Dado. <laughs> 19 20 and actually 21 21 they 21's a pull through you can see that there 
Also, they will come by and get your trash. Um, you just leave it out at the end of your site and they'll come by and grab that for you. 30. Yeah, that's 30 and 29. Those are both pull throughs as well, this middle section. We're coming around the corner here to this little island. These are sites 33 through 36. And they are all pull throughs, yes. It's beautiful up here. They keep it well maintained. It's a gorgeous day today, too. Back there, this is site 21, the pull through. So we're kind of on this next row right here. Um, that was 21, this will be 22, <clears throat> E22, which are back ends. And 23, that's our site to this trip. Number 23 and 24. <clears throat> 25 through 28. That is it for Eagle's Nest. All right, we're here at the uh, Talona Ridge Campground and uh, the dog park, letting the dogs run around. Uh, you can see they have a small breed section and one for large. We got some guests. Easy does it. So that smell smells. What is it, buddy? Come on. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes our tour of uh, Talona Ridge. So, uh, we've been here since Thursday. Thursday. It's now Sunday. We've still got what, one more day left. Mm hmm. Too. Had a had a really good time. Pool is is really good. The hot tub is amazing. That's where I spent it most is of my time. Hot tub. <laughs> it's a hot tub. It takes me a long time to get in there. Uh, we spent some time there last couple of days. Uh, really, really like the park. Uh, one thing that I guess I don't like mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi is non-existent. Uh, they have it, but every time you click on it, it's an error message, which we I talk. Can't find it. I talked to Bob about it, and he said they're having some issues, so maybe when y'all try that out, it'd be better. Uh, but for the price we're paying, I would like to see cable. Um, right. They don't offer cable services here, which is kind of odd to me, being a resort um, mm. that, you know, you have to use your antenna, which, I mean, we, we pick up, what, about 18, 19 channels, which is fine. We which, end up using our hotspot. We but... use our hotspot, and mainly us, we don't really watch our TV till it's bedtime. You know, we'll sit here and have our 
last minute snack before we go to, to bed and you know a little, little cup of bites of ice cream or something mm -hmm. and watch a couple of youtube shows or something like that but other than that love the place it's super clean yes. staff is super friendly they're willing to work with you um you can't bring in outside firewood like heather said earlier you have to purchase it yeah. here you can bring a solo stove we brought ours um yes. So you, you can do that. You can bring a gas fire pit, but they ask that you keep them on the concrete, right. which is not that big a deal. Right. I mean, there's a lot of concrete here uh, to utilize that. You can't use tents. You can't use mm -hmm. like easy up awnings, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't like about that part because it does get hot up here on Ooh. the Eagle's, on Eagle's Nest. It's the tasty. sun is, is brutal. So have, if you could put up a canopy, that, that would, would be, nice. be nice. But I understand the aesthetic. You want to keep the park sure. looking clean and it's beautiful. You know, you yeah. don't want it junky and all that good stuff. Uh, you know, they don't want hanging out your linens flopping in the wind either. So you know, <laughs> we put ours behind. We, the camper. we tucked ours behind the camper, so you know, way out of sight, out of mind. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, other than that, love the park. It's a great place. Uh, they don't so, close the gates either. Now you have a no, proximity get, card. Um, so you get this little folder, you know. When you check in. When you check in, it's got your map and all the good stuff. But you get uh, like proxy cards. You get two of these. And don't lose them don't for lose $20. Them. 20 bucks. So you do get these to bad, you know, beep in and out yeah. um, while you're here. And the nice thing about it is that the, view, the views are beautiful. You feel like you're out in the, you know, in the mountains, which you are. Yes. Oh, that, there sorry. we go. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. My bad. My bad. Uh, but you are. We don't. We don't have like, our big camera. We're using the phone for yeah. the first time, so we're trying to get used to it. Um, you're, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, you're like five seconds from, like, just down the hill. I mean, literally yeah, and, two and, minutes to yeah. Walmart. Um, there's a Target, a Marshalls. Yeah, Duncan. and you really don't realize it when you're up here, but no, literally, you are less than a half a mile from Walmart, from Longhorn, to an awesome Mexican restaurant. We, we did go and yeah, uh, I wish I'd have filmed in there, but I did not. Uh, we were all tired that day. We <laughs> we went uh, swimming mm -hmm. all day long. I think that's the day we went apple picking as well. And we then did. went swimming. And by the time it was dinner time, we were all like zombie mode. Uh, we were gonna do the food truck, but there was, a, like I said, there was a convention, a rally going packed. on. and. <laughs> they, they they took over the food truck. So we was like, eh, instead of waiting for a Mexican food truck, we'll just find a Mexican. And there was one, <laughs> right. like I said, it was like 0. 0.4 miles down the street. So good. But it was delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. It was very good. It was right next to the Longhorn. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, if you're ever in this area, you can find the <laughs> and, one next to the Longhorn. That's the one we went to. And it's 15 minutes from, 15, 20 minutes from downtown LJ. Yes. So you can get there really quick, go to the little... Um, what's the center of the town? Yeah, and we'll probably go there tomorrow. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, we're still here tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might take a tour through there or something. But it's know. really we'll close, see. so you can see all the shops, and we had a little pizza yeah. joint, and it was just really good. It was a nice little little time there. Yep. Yeah. See all little shops, but it's very convenient to a lot of things, but doesn't feel like it when you're up here. So no, it's no. nice. No, I love it. All in all, I would do it again. Uh, yeah, prices definitely. are not too extreme mm -hmm. for a. Uh, a resort, I guess you would say. Uh, the Hawk level, the what is it, Hawk Valley, right. uh, down at the bottom. I think you're looking around what eighty five, ninety dollars a night, yeah. which is not bad. Right. Uh, the Falcon moves up to around what around one hundred one twenty, one thirty, depends on if it's a pull through or or what. And then the Eagles, where we're at, I think it starts around one fifty ish. It depends. Well, it, it all depends. Yeah, one thirty five. <laughs> For a back end, I think the pull-throughs are a little bit more. 140. Yeah, 145. Like those, the one, like the Class A's that pull forward, you know, they're just yeah. a forward pull-in. Yeah. So the motor coach pull-in, those are about 145. Yeah, so to stay here, you're looking between, I'd say, <laughs> 85 to 150 bucks a night, which is not, yeah, depending not on too where shabby you for, you know, a nice resort with a pool and all the amenities they offer here within the, the park. And like I said, they are expanding and they're growing. And Yeah. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, I love it. It's our second time. It's our here, second time here. And I'm sure we'll be back next year. And you know, if you do book um, before you, you leave, get like a discount before you leave, you get I don't know ten or fifteen. I think it's ten percent off, off yeah. of your next visit if you go ahead and like pre-book. So we did that last year. Yeah. And locked in for this year, and it's been great. So mm -hmm. and we did stay last year. We did stay on the bottom. They call it the basement. Some people do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did stay down there. It was great too. We were right across from the dog park. I loved it. 
Uh, but this time we did book up at the top at Eagle's uh, Nest just so we could be within walking distance yeah. for the food trucks and, you know, just the things that and happen in the lab. every camper the here, we, we've we met, every, everybody's been amazing. Yeah. We've, we've met a lot of friends yeah. and especially this one over here. She got I'm in, a talker. She got into cohorts with one of the food trucks yesterday and she was actually... <laughs> I guess working for them unofficially. She I was taking the orders menu. for them. I and had a little tray. I mean, you know, <laughs> people at the pool were ordering. I was helping them out. It's yeah, fine. she was helping them out. It's yes. a good it, time, was, it was actually hilarious. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I brought him a pretzel with yeah. the tray. That's how he learned I was working for yeah, him. Yeah, she she brought me a pretzel. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? She's like, I'm working for the food truck. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing you your yeah. pretzel and tray. But yeah. Anyway, but anyways, it's it's, it's it's a good time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The dogs are. Uh, Passed out. Both, uh, Where are they? Yeah. 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 So. Well, we took them to the dog park this morning and yeah, wore them out. ran them to death. So. Yeah. That is that's uh, that concludes our little yeah uh, journey here at the park. Kind of little tour around. So when you're booking, you kind of see the spots, kind of figure out what your needs are and where you would like to be. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of the map and I'll put it at the yes. end of this and uh oh and you can rent golf carts oh yeah they do have um, golf cart I don't, rentals. I don't know how much they are I might say uh, but I, I would imagine probably a hundred bucks a day or something along um, those lines that's about <laughs> typical pool driving parking trailer. I don't think it says oh uh, I might not say well you can rent them yeah I don't if you're know how interested, much they are. you may just have to ask up front but I don't see anything. yeah if you're staying down at the bottom and you're wanting to come up to the top it is it is a hike. I mean, you're well, walking you up drive. a mountain. Uh, you can drive. There are parking spots available. We uh, a lot of people have their e-bikes, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you know you can do it. Uh, but if you're needing assistance, you probably want to rent a golf cart or bring your own. Or drive your truck. Or that's what I said. You drive oh, your truck. Right, right, right. That's what I said. There's parking <laughs> spots available. Yes. So yeah, but that's it. I uh, hope to catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Bye. Bye.